The centerpiece is really our, it's what we're grounded in and our rooted uh, space. So it reminds us that we are all being recognized in the space. It reminds us of who's come before us and where we will go. And that's the idea of the circle is that everyone is at the same level, whether you're an adult facilitator or a young person who's in the space, Um, which is also why we use the talking piece, which acknowledges every person within the space, whether you want to talk or not, you get passed. So we don't pass across the circle or across the centerpiece. We pass around the circle, which means that um, even if you are not speaking, that we see you, we recognize you, and you are a part of our community. We have seashells, which symbol the fluidity of the sea and different parts of nature. We also have crystals, which have different healing properties and energy, um, which young people are coming to learn about. And we also have different items that are sensory toys, which help when people are discussing things that maybe are difficult topics or just understanding that sitting for long periods of time can be difficult. I think in in general, the concept of circle is community and relationship and recognizing that you can't move forward without um, being accountable to one another. Um, and that requires seeing one another, recognizing one another, and supporting one another. And so in Sisters in Strength, it is a lot of recognition that um, if someone's missing from the space, even you can have an empty chair for that person that's not there for the day, but being able to uh, be connected and accountable to the, the group. That's, that's a huge part of it. Um, and just acknowledgement, which a lot of our young people don't get in other spaces.